Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Dora Mitchell, and a qualifier here. I've taken the crazy plunge. So as of three days ago, I'm no longer a board director of the company because I'm the VP of operations. So hello. Um, speaking of, I have two young children and, you know, health insurance and all that kind of thing. If I'm ready to do this crazy thing, you should be too. Um, so Karma Therapeutics, I'd love to tell you a little bit about it. We're developing next generation immunotherapies through combining chimeric antigen receptor technology with macrophages. And this slide demonstrates why I would have failed marketing 101 because I'm showing you somebody else's drug on my marketing collateral, but bear with me for a second. So this is a bag of Kimraya, a recently approved first ever genetically engineered cell for therapeutic use. This is a bag of CAR T cells. And upon um, approval just about a month and a half ago, the FDA commissioner stated that this is truly a new era of medicine. Um, and that's true. This is truly a miracle drug. And we're going to get back to this concept um, in a second. But let me tell you a little bit more about our company. So Karma Therapeutic is a, Therapeutics is a pioneer in combining um, chimeric antigen receptor technology with the immune effector function of macrophages. And this is truly a platform technology that we intend to apply to solid tumors first but would be applicable broadly across other biological targets. Um, we plan to be in MAN in 2019. We have an ambitious program to do so and a great team to execute, including a fabulous relationship with the University of Pennsylvania's Center for Cellular Immunotherapies, which are the guys that made that bag on the first slide possible. And of course, a fabulous corporate partner that they had. Um, so we have broad intellectual property coverage. We think that we have a foundational position in the space of macrophage monocytes um, modified genetically for curing human disease. And we closed the seed financing earlier this year um, led by Abvi Ventures and HealthCap. And Ross from Abvi is somewhere here. Ross, you working on behalf of the company today? You're talking to everybody? Yeah. So back to the concept of miracle medicines, um, on this graph we charted complete responses as reported in clinical studies versus different tumors that folks were treated with CAR T cells and that blue dot over there is oops is um that doesn't work the blue dot on the top left side is Kimrai and it's truly really a miracle drug um, and as you can tell responses in liquid tumors with CAR technology and T cells have been you know miraculous to meaningful for patients but on the right-hand side, CAR T cells and solid tumors really haven't delivered the same successes. And so this blank space here leaves a great unmet need for patients, but also a great opportunity for karma therapeutics. We intend to fill that void by applying chimeric antigen receptor macrophages. We call them karma. We derive monocytes from the peripheral blood ex vivo we differentiate and modify with viral vectors to express a chimeric antigen receptor. The product we call karma is an activated and targeted macrophage. And we truly think that this approach is ideally suited to the solid tumor microenvironment because foundationally of the cell that we're using. We think the macrophages will, will work out in this space because of trafficking, targeting, and their effector function, broadly speaking. Effector function being Again, the line's in the wrong sp um, spot here. A direct effect, killing tumor cells via phagocytosis, but also the ability to prime um, an adaptive immune response. In trafficking, it's a well-established fact that if you've got a bunch of solid tumors and you slice them up and you look for uh, prevalence of leukocytes in there, in red you see that there are many more macrophages there than there are T cells. Macrophages <laughs> infiltrate tissue, they hang out there. But the question is, sure, they're there, are they gonna do anything? It's also a well-established fact that if they're not targeted, they don't do anything, which is demonstrated over here. And our absolutely brilliant scientists have overcome a terrific technological hurdle in being able to genetically manipulate macrophages. No one's been able to do that in a meaningful way before. So now that we can target these macrophages through CARs, we demonstrate that they can selectively phagocytose cells bearing the tumor antigen of interest and not other cells. This shows you a timeline of the direct killing mechanism. The sort of the primary mechanism of action via phagocytosis. There is a red macrophage eating a green tumor cell. 
and you can see that the tumor cell gets engulfed, destroyed, it disappears, the macrophage recovers and it can go on and eat more. We've also demonstrated the macrophages are able to eat more than one tumor cell at a time. But the real money slide is here and the concept that these macrophages are able to see some tumor cells engulf them and please know that macrophages are one of the three professional antigen presenting cells in the body. So they will process whatever they ate and they'll display it on their class one and class two for the immune system to see. We have shown and would love to talk about data to people, not, you know, 10 minute deck really doesn't do it justice. But we have shown that our cells are um, activated, they're locked into what's known as the M1 um, anti-tumor phenotype. They're excellent antigen presenting cells. Not only do they preserve antigen presentation function, they process and present antigen um, very, very efficiently. And we've shown that they also um, enhance T cell activation as measured in this little chart by upregulation of T cell activation factors. They also um, upregulate T cell expansion. So again, the concept here is that you will see a tumor via a particular antigen to begin with, but then you might be able to trigger in a, an immunocompetent human host a broader immune response that is now not limited to only that original antigen that you engineered. We've done some studies in animals. We consistently see tumor regression on, and prolonged survival. Nothing shocking here. Um, a snapshot of the team, two incredibly brilliant sciences from the University of Pennsylvania's Center for Cellular Immunotherapies, Sarah Gill and Mike Klichinski, some of the smartest guys that walk the planet. Um, and of course, the fabulous Bruce Peacock of Santa Corp <laughs> Cephalon and other fame leading the charge. Um, great investors who've really ro rolled up their sleeves, opened up the Rolodexes to help us. Just a note, so this is an autologous approach. You take cells out of a patient, modify, put them back in. So there's sort of the cell product manufacturing process as well as the viral vectors that are engineered to feed into this. Um, we have identified a full supply chain and began manufacturing. A note on the clinic, once you make it, you gotta put it in man or woman. Um, we have two programs currently in preclinical development. Um, the concepts broadly here, are, these are small enough trials, they're obviously open label, so as the study rolls along, you would be reading out responses. Um, the concept too is that these would be basket trials, so you're enrolling patients based on um, levels of e expression of your target antigen of choice. Summary slide again, so, you know, please find us, let us know if you'd like to learn more, we'd love to talk to you. Thank you.